welcome back to the tune project today i'll be teaching you how to play the tune sail away ladies on the violin so stay tuned as always, if you end up enjoying this video and finding it to be useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one every week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. Also, if you're interested in taking a look at the sheet music for this tune, I'll leave a link to my digital sheet music library in the description box below. All right, so this is a great little tune that there are a few different versions of, but the version that I'll be teaching you today is the Kenny Baker version. It was made famous by him, so that's the one we're gonna be working on today. So for this A part, we're gonna start on open E, and this first phrase sounds like this. All right, so we have a unison double stop there at the end with our fourth finger E on the A string with open E. And for the next phrase, we start again on open E. So we ended on D, our third finger on the A string there. And as an option, if you wanted to play that as a double stop, you could leave your second finger on G on the E string and then play that D and G together. In which case it would sound like this. creates a nice little chord there. So that's an option if that's something you like and feel comfortable with. In this next phrase, we have a triplet. So see if you can listen for that and catch this rhythm. Okay, so we had some eighth notes in there in mostly a descending scale pattern. And then, like I said, we had that little triplet in there. And then here is our last phrase of the A part. We're starting with a pickup on G, our third finger on the D string. All right, so you might recognize that ending from other tunes. It's a fairly common ending in bluegrass tunes, so it might feel like a familiar finger pattern for you. So now that we've learned the whole A part, let's go ahead and play it together. If you're not quite comfortable playing the whole thing just yet, I would recommend this first pass through just fingering along silently with your left hand and then maybe rewinding the video and trying to play it with me the second time. One, two, three, Four. And getting into this B part, which is a little bit shorter than the A section, let's go ahead and start with this first phrase, which starts on a triplet on our first finger E. Okay, and then ending on open A. And the second and final phrase of this B part, like I said, it's pretty short. We start on the D string with our third finger G. So since the form of this tune is A, A, B, B, the second time through the B section, we would end on just a sustained G instead of those two quarter note Gs like we did the first time. So now, just like we did for the A section, let's go ahead and play this B part together. But instead of playing it just once, because it's a little bit shorter, I'll play it twice through so that you can catch that second ending, which is slightly different. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and learning Sail Away Ladies. I really hope you enjoyed learning this tune. It's a great little tune. And again, if you are interested in taking a look at the sheet music, like I said, I'll leave the link to my digital sheet music library in the description box below so that you can check out the sheet music for this tune as well as many others. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. 
If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Toon Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!